Now, egoistic hedonism maintains that every person ought to seek the own greatest pleasure. An action is good in proportion as it promotes the agent's own greatest pleasure. In estimating uh, the quantity of pleasure, two points should be taken into account, that is um, intensity and duration. Egoistic hedonism as an ethical standard is um, generally combined with psychological hedonism. Psychological hedonism holds that um, everyone naturally seeks his own greatest pleasure, while ethical hedonism holds that um, everyone ought to seek his own pleasure, ought to seek his own greatest pleasure. Everyone for himself is the maxim of this system. But a question may be uh, per, um, pertinently asked in this connection, uh, if man naturally seeks Mm, his own pleasure, how are we then to explain uh, the social feelings uh, that we find in him? Hobbes is an um, egoistic hedonist. He explains the origin of um, society and the social um, feelings in the following way. According to him, quote, um, um, originally man lived in a state of nature. Unquote, which was a, a state of discord and a strife. Men are by nature, uh, um, we can say, egoistic. Um, in the state of nature, uh, each man lived in uh, isolation and claimed to appropriate everything that was uh, needed for his self-preservation and enjoyment. Naturally, there was a, a clash of interest uh, gradually, they came to discover that their own preservation, safety, and happiness depended on a large extent upon the cooperation and help of other individuals. Hence, they entered into a, um, we can say, um, social trend by which each person agreed to subordinate his own good. Um, in, in some respect to that of uh, others and um, to contribute to the um, good of the society as a whole for the sake of greater good he would receive as um, dividend. Thus according to Hobbes, society has an egoistic basis, man works for the good, for his fellowings, for the sake of his own larger interest.